Namaskara. Greetings to one and all. Today I have made a very humble attempt to discuss a very important concept with regard to mergers and acquisitions. Friends, today I would be concentrating more from accounting perspective of mergers and acquisitions. Friends, prior to that, let me first spend some time discussing what do you mean by merger and acquisition. Friends, merger is a process wherein two or more similar type of businesses come together, they dissolve their businesses and form a new company which shall take over the business of erstwhile companies. This could be better understood with help of an example. Let me say there are companies A and company B. Now what happens is company A liquidates Company B also liquidates and there is a new company called as C. This C company shall take over the business of A as well as business of B. Now, in this case, again I repeat, company A loses its identity. Company B also loses its identity. There is a new company called as C. Snehitre, Marcher and Re, Yeradu Athava, Yeradakinta, Hichina company Gadu. One day, the related business model of the company is uh, agreement. This company is liquidated. This company is liquidated. This company is This company is liquidated. This company is liquidated. This company is liquidated. This company is liquidated. This is liquidated. This company is company is liquidated. Corona. company A relatively stronger company, company B relatively weaker company. Ega weaker company and the B company liquidate agi. Idu ye orangade matcha gowa ondo process anna acquisition anta kariti bi. Fine. Uh, in this case, I can give you a practical example in the very recent past. Friends, there was. A company called as, or in fact, there is a company called as HUL and there was a company called as GSK. Now, what has happened to this GSK? GSK company has got absorbed by HUL. Now, GSK loses its identity. HUL shall acquire the business of GSK. This is a classic example for acquisition. Friends, after having understood the meaning of merger and acquisitions, as I already said, my focus would be mostly on accounting aspect of mergers and acquisitions. Let us quickly move to AS14. The moment we say accounting of mergers and acquisition, AS14 becomes quite significant. AS14 is an accounting standard which is exclusively drafted for accounting in case of mergers and acquisitions. Friends, modeli ke ye is 14 ye headed the ta norana. According to AS 14, there are two types of amalgamation. Amalgamation in the nature of merger. Amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Now, AS 14 prakara amalgamation ye eradu vidha. Avo amalgamation in the nature of merger, amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Ega, Yavaga amalgamation merger alirate, Yavaga amalgamation purchase alirate no, one Mahitiana, AS 14 clear agi, headide, and Yeno Nodana, Munde Nodana. Now, when amalgamation is said to be in the nature of merger, it has to satisfy all the five conditions as I have written it there. Amalgamation in the nature of merger conditions satisfy Again I repeat, not one or few of conditions, all the five conditions. Ali Aidrali Aido conditions satisfy Agitali merger and the in the nature of merger and the karitivi. I do conditions. Yenu no dana. Kundundagi no dana. Condition number one. 
all the assets and liabilities of transferer company becomes the assets and liabilities of transferee company. On the example, company A, company B. A company A another. Let us assume this is transferee company. And company B is a transferer company in the Torana. Now, first condition in the B company close up. If B company close up, A would have been merged with the Tenta and Corona. If company A and A are two assets and liabilities, all the assets and liabilities of company B shall be transferred to company A. Again, I repeat. The condition 1 is pretty simple. All the assets and liabilities of company B shall be transferred to company A. Or in general, you can say all the assets and liabilities of transferer company shall be transferred to transferee company. This is the first condition. Now condition 2, though accounting uh, does not have much need for that but still for it to be called as merger that is a very important condition at least 90% of shareholders of transferer company shall agree to become the shareholders of transferee company upon amalgamation again I repeat at least 90% of shareholders of transferer company agree to become the shareholders of transferee company Kanishta Paksha, 90% of shareholders, company B na shareholders, company A alli shareholders ago the ke opi ge yenna kottir vay. Idu error ne condition agathe, again I repeat, at least 90% of shareholders of transferer company shall agree to become the shareholders of transferee company. Now third one is, a very important condition. What it says is no adjustment shall be made in the book values of assets and liabilities of transferer company. And the condition number one all the assets and liabilities of company B, company A ge obe kun thedat. Adri ya value ota thedala. Illi one the two assets and liabilities illi transfer ag beko no dunna modal condition hedate. Yao value no dunna moonne condition hedate. Moonne condition yen hedate it should be transferred as book value. No adjustment. Yao de di tiya da adjustment book value ge madwa rado. Now this is what condition number three says. No adjustment should be made in the book value of assets and liabilities of transferer company. Andre. E company B as two assets and liabilities company A transfer Marbeko, Ya value transfer Marbeko, book value alle transfer Marbeko. Every rule has an exception at the head. Are they the Yagi Lu on the exception in there? Akasmat uniform accounting practices Marbekun theatre, on the Sandarpa Vishesh Sandarpa Dali, Sana changes make other Marco Bodu. For example, uh, depreciation policies. E company a depreciation policies bere irate. E company a depreciation policies bere itali. E ga e company assets and liabilities are il bandi E ga plant and missionary ita tovarna. E plant and missionary on the depreciation. A on the inno on the plant and missionary B ita bandi rodo bere on the depreciation policy. Ante idhe sari hogalna. Anta ha vishesh sandarbha gadali matra sanna changes be kare marko bodo. Generally, you cannot make any adjustment. It has to be taken over only at book value. This is condition number 3. Now, condition number 4 is an interesting condition. Now, what does condition number 4 say? See, there is something to be given by transfer a company to transfer a company and we call that as purchase consideration. Just because company A acquires the assets and liabilities of company B, now it has to give some return benefits and that return benefit is referred to as purchase consideration. If purchase consideration na yaha method ali pay mar veko no na condition number 4 hedate. What it says is, the entire purchase consideration shall be paid 
only in the form of securities in transfer company e pc for example e ondu example alli 10 lakh rupay pc anta ikkorada ee purchase consideration 10 lakh na yava mode alli pay madbeku anta helidre securities of transfer company ee example alli e company ya securities adu preference shares agirabodu equity shares agirabodu yavade security mulaka matrane pay madbekagutte bere yava method alli pay madangilla for example debentures alli agli athava cash alli agli pay madangilla you have to pay it only through securities when i say securities here i mean only shares it could be in the form of equity shares athava preference shares that doesn't matter uh there is an exception to this rule as well uh in case of fractional shares you can pay it in the form of cash anta helutte for example 10 lakh rupay maulya pc idre 10 lakh maulya nu securities moolagane pay madbeku anta general rule helutte akashma neevu calculation maduvaga fractional shares bantu anta ikkoda for example 857.8 shares anta idre 0.8 ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಕೊಡಕ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ 0.8 ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ನ ಹೇ ಕೊಡಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ 0.8 ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ನ ಮೌಲ್ಯ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಗದು ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಪೇ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ರೀತಿಯಾದ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರಿ ಕಂಪನಿ ಮೂಲಕಾನೆ ಪೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ 4 now condition number 5 says transfer a company intends to carry on the business of transferer company ant helidre company a amalgamation aadmele ee b company maartta iddantaha business nu no carry forward maadbeku carry on maartobekagutte ee company a in this case which is the transfer company should continue the business of transferer company which is company b now what does fifth condition say fifth condition says transfer a company shall intend to carry on the business of transferer company upon amalgamation see after amalgamation b company maaduvantaha operations anna a company continue maarkond hobeku anodu condition number 5 helutte accounting reetiyage adeno mukhyavada conditions illade irabodu aadare amalgamation to be in the nature of merger adu mukhyavada condition agutte let us revisit and have a glimpse of all the five conditions condition number 1 says all the assets and liabilities of transferer company should become the assets and liabilities of transferee company point number 2 at least 90% of the shareholders of transferer company must agree to become the shareholders of transferee company condition number 3 no adjustment shall be made in the book values of assets and liabilities of transferer company andre yava value alli transfer maadbeka assets and liabilities na book value alli there is of course an exemption to that to a, a in, uh, to ensure uniform accounting practices you may make some slight adjustments condition number 4 entire purchase consideration should be paid only in the form of securities in transfer a company idukku ondu exception ide only in case of fractional shares you can pay in the form of cash now the fifth and the final condition says transfer a company intends to carry on the business of transferer company ಈ ಐದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗಿದ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಅಮಾಲ್ಗಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಜರ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ನಾ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಮಾಲ್ಗಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಈ ಐದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಮಾಲ್ಗಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಐದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅಮಾಲ್ಗಮೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ again i repeat if all the five conditions are satisfied you call that as amalgamation in the nature of merger even if one condition is not satisfied then you call that as amalgamation in the nature of purchase friends 
it is quite significant for us to understand the difference between amalgamation in the nature of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Why is it important for us to make this distinction? The reason is there is a difference in accounting treatment for the two. Now if amalgamation is in the nature of merger, there is a different accounting treatment and if amalgamation is in the nature of purchase, the accounting treatment is different. Hence, we need to understand the difference between these two. In this episode, I have tried to explain the two types of amalgamation as per AS 14. In my next episode, I would be continuing the discussion with regard to accounting treatment in the nature of merger and accounting treatment in the nature of purchase. Thank you. Hope you all enjoy.